If I was to drop this light basketball and this heavy workout ball at the same time, which do you think will hit the ground first? Let's find out. They landed at the same time. That's because everything falls at the same rate. It doesn't matter how heavy or how light something is. Until things are falling fast enough that air friction or drag starts to play a factor. Soon, things reach their top speed. This top speed is called terminal velocity. It means I could throw this basketball from an airplane and it might not be going any faster than if I threw it from, say, 10 stories up. I'm gonna find out what the terminal velocity is for both of these objects when we max this out. Ninja science roll! Here's how terminal velocity works. Everything falls at the same rate, going faster as gravity pulls it down. But when things start going so fast that just pushing through the air at that speed creates as much force as the pull of gravity, things reach a top speed and they won't go any faster. How heavy something is and how much air it pushes both play a factor in its top speed. And that top speed is called terminal velocity. How cool is that? I'm at iFly Toronto. This is a giant wind tunnel, and they've got the wind going fast enough that they can't fall any faster. It's the terminal velocity for a human being. I'm gonna take our weighted ball and our basketball and place them both here in the wind chamber. This is the control panel, which is what they use to control the wind speed inside the chamber. And this is Derek, who's gonna be operating it. And that is Mike and Greg, and they're inside the chamber. All right, let's fire it up. All right, firing it up. 35, 58, nothing happening yet. This number here is the one we're looking at to see how fast the air is moving. 86, something's starting to happen. Oh, 89, wind speed of basketball, 89 kilometers an hour. At 89 kilometers per hour, the wind is going fast enough that the friction of the wind and the pull of gravity balance out, making the basketball float. This means you could throw a basketball out of an airplane and it would never go any faster than 89 kilometers per hour. All right, let's keep increasing the speed. 106, 124 kilometers an hour. 140, 150. Oh, 166, almost. 172, whoa. Wind speed of the heavy red ball, 173 kilometers an hour. Because the red ball is heavier than the basketball, we need a lot more wind speed to counteract the force of gravity before they cancel out and the ball floats. Here's something else that's going on that's cool. Mike is flying, but Greg is not. That's because Mike is lying down, which means he's catching a lot more wind than Greg is, who's standing straight. If Mike stays lying down, his terminal velocity is the same as the red ball, 173 kilometers per hour. But Greg's velocity would have to be a lot faster. And that's science! <laughs>